Hello and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. Today I'm sharing how I declutter and organize the master bathroom to get ready for a big reno. Giving a real quick preview before we get started, the cabinets and drawers have been quite neglected as I just quickly get ready every morning and night with two kids, two and under. Not an easy task, so I just pull things out as fast as I can and put them back and shut it before little hands are reaching in. So on this day, I am pulling it all out, getting rid of a bunch, and restoring some order. So if you are in need of some major bathroom organizing motivation, I got you covered here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Melissa and every week I got cleaning motivation and organizing motivation coming your way. So if that's your thing, make sure you are subscribed before you go. You can also go find me over on Instagram at Intentful Spaces where I'm sharing lots over there just about every single day. Before we get started on demo in here, I wanted to clear the clutter so when it's all done, I can move everything back in in a fun way and not have to store so much elsewhere during the process. Giving a real life reveal of how stuffed these cabinets and drawers have gotten. I really wanted to pare it all down and embrace a more minimalist approach to my use and keeping of products. And also to make it a whole lot easier and more efficient to get ready each day by streamlining the items I use and also to help it be more relaxing when I unwind at the end of the night by not having so much clutter in here getting in the way of the things I actually want to use. I hadn't quite realized just how much product we had acquired until I put some fresh eyes on it and really started pulling it all out. So that was just how I got started. Doing one section at a time, I removed absolutely everything from the space and went through it all item by item. I had a bag next to me for trash and made quick decisions, keeping my objective in mind, to have a well-utilized space that wasn't so full I couldn't access the products. Once each space was cleared, I used some all-purpose cleaner to wipe it out before deciding how to put things back. It's so vital to have the space completely empty in order to have a completely fresh approach on the new way you want to set things up. It feels almost like moving into a new space. And often when a space is cluttered, it's because the way it was set up is no longer working and clearing it and rethinking the way it is used can often lend a solution. I ended up changing some of the storage containers I was using because they clearly were not working for me anymore. And I actually found a lot of things in here that I had totally forgotten I had gotten or just couldn't find. And it almost felt like shopping my own drawers and cabinets again. It was quite fun. So I ended up picking up some new bins at Target, just very inexpensive little containers and reworking the whole way I had this set up. And I made sure to get plenty of stuff ahead of time so that when I was ready to start putting things away, I already had the containers on hand. And then I always just return whatever I don't end up using. But it's nice to kind of have that planned ahead of time time. It's also important to not get stressed out. It can be so discouraging when excitement turns to dread mid-process. Yes, seeing all of this stuff out can be very overwhelming. My tip is to use that feeling as your reasoning for doing this and as encouragement to eliminate the excess. Remember that it's all been there, creating little doses of stress each time you have come in contact with it. But you then shut the doors, out of sight, out of mind, and carry on just to be encountering it again the next time you're there. So this process does take some work and determination, but in the long run, it inevitably reduces the stress that you encounter every single time you interacted with the space before, and then turns to a sensation of ease and pride each time you see it. So not only eliminating the source of the stress, but creating a feeling of well-being and can help elicit a sense of feeling on top of some of the things in your life. Even if it is just something small, like an organized bathroom, because if we can eliminate even just some of the stresses we face, it can free up energy to be spent on other things that are more meaningful. And how we interact with our spaces each day does really add up to being a big part of our lives. I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place, chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness. Something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way Then you came to me and you gave me reason uh -uh 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 -uh. I almost can't believe it Every time we touch I feel at home There's no way I'd ever let you go When you put your hands in my
So I had gotten these little white bins from Target thinking I was going to be using them for like hair products and the stuff in the cabinets, but I ended up not liking the way I was setting up the makeup tray that was existing and ended up using that to do the hair products instead and the white bins for the makeup. So sometimes just rethinking the way that we were planning on using the storage containers can sometimes just utilize the space a lot better. So this ended up making better use of the entire space in the drawer and giving me wider sections to organize the makeup in which was partly the problem with the smaller tray was that the compartments were just too small for the items I was wanting to keep in there and then things were sort of overflowing so this has been holding up very nicely and is working out a lot better and it's so much easier for me to put things away now and also access the things that I'm wanting which is ultimately the goal in organizing I don't know anybody that could compare to you The way you're always smiling The way you light up a room I couldn't live without you Not even if I tried Cause every day I'm with you I'm flying over the clouds Oh yeah Yeah, I'm flying over the clouds And I'm not coming down Every time we touch our feet So I am really into the more natural type body care products and these are just some essential oils that I picked up very inexpensively from Sprouts and an old candle container that I store them in. I really like to repurpose, reuse um, any kind of items that I can for sorting and candle containers and jars and stuff like that just make really great ways to organize your things. So now I'm going to pull all these medicine cabinet shelves out and get them sprayed down and wiped down because the oils have kind of leaked onto there and it's leaving sort of a gooey mess. So I'm going to clean that up and get the shelves put back in so that I can start reorganizing the medicine cabinet. I want the medicine cabinet to just be stuff that I use pretty much daily and then anything else that was in there that I'm not regularly using I'm going to be putting in the cabinet. And these are just some old sauce jars that I've had. I do hoard some jars because I like to just put them into use in all kinds of different ways so I like to always have different sizes on hands and sometimes I'll keep the lid sometimes I won't. These ones were just like some old salsa jars or something and I'm going to end up using those to store my makeup brushes in and I think it just looks so much cleaner and nicer than these old toothbrush cups that I've had for probably over a decade now and they're actually starting to rust and just kind of want something that looks fresher and cleaner in the cabinet so these ended up working out perfectly and I'm going through the brushes while I'm putting them in there and deciding which ones to let go of and now the medicine cabinet is all set up and it's only the stuff that I regularly use pretty much every single day so now it's a lot less cluttered and much easier to use. Beautiful woman. 
woman I felt it deep inside Beautiful woman People are talking me down Beautiful woman You try to tell me what's right The road is longer You turn all grey into white Oh And now just sharing some shots of the after. I ended up setting up the hair drawer and then reworking it a couple days later and threw a clip in here. So try your organizing out for a few days and see how it's working. And if you need to adjust and make some changes, then go ahead and do it. And also maybe decide to end up letting go of even more afterwards, which I end up doing almost every time I organize. And here is the cabinet. It's all set up to where I can reach everything in here now very easily. And it is not packed to the brim and everything's sort of categorized in these bins I got from Target so that I know that there's hair products, lotion products, other body care products and like little toiletries for like travel and extra products that I keep like toothpaste and toothbrushes and stuff like that. So now everything is categorized and I know which bin to go to when I'm wanting things and then I had one bin left over and I put the coconut oil in there because that one tends to leave a mess wherever I set it. Here here is the counter all cleared off and the job is done and it's working so good for me now. I hope this was motivating for you and you feel ready to go do your own bathroom and remember to subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of motivation. You can follow me over on Instagram at Intentful Spaces and as always, thank you all so much for being here.